Hi there, and welcome to George Hall Synth Tutorials. Um, I'm going to be looking at the next two tutorials, which are going to have a theme, and the theme is going to be um, film music uh, that's got a kind of a spooky theme to it. So I've called the first tutorial 38, which I'm going to demonstrate for you today, um, and that's going to cover the 1945 film Spellbound. It's going to cover the uh, 1978 film Halloween and the 1980 film The Shining. Uh, and um, the next tutorial 39, uh, which you can look forward to, to watching, will be on Stranger Things, the Netflix TV series. So the first sound I'm going to look at is from the 1945 film Spellbound, which used a theremin. Now, theremins were invented by Leon Theremin in 1928, and it involved two antennae, uh, which um, worked on capacitance. So when you moved one hand towards one antennae, it controlled pitch, and when you moved the other hand towards the other antennae, it controlled volume. And you got a sound like this. So I'll now show you how I got that sound and uh, we'll move to the initial setting. And basically the theremin produced a fairly pure sound uh, but I'm going to use um, a sawtooth waveform and then filter it. So oscillator one, there we go, is on an eight foot pitch and we need mono in there because the theremin was a monophonic instrument. Um, and we need some, um, yeah, let, let's, let's do the oscillator first. So we've got oscillator one, eight foot pitch, sawtooth waveform, and we'll want to wobble to that sound. So we're going to use LFO one with a speed of 58. 58. There we go. Okay. And a depth uh, of plus 15. and that introduces the wobble to the sound. We also need a glide between the pitches, and the glide is going to be 49. So let's just hear that glide. There we are, and now we need to filter the sound. We've got um, oscillator one on there fully uh, up, and the filter is a low pass 24 dB filter, cut off 76. There we are, and a resonance of 44. So that's increasing the harmonics around the cutoff point. And the key track is 93. So as we move up the keyboard, the filter opens up. As we move down the keyboard, the filter closes off. And we need to adjust the amplifier envelope. So velocity zero. Attack time, we want the sound to fade in. Let's look at that, so um, attack time 57. Uh, there we are. Sustain is all the way over to 127, so decay time, it doesn't enter into it. Uh, release time, 78. There we are. And we also need to add a spooky amount of reverb in there which is um, time 99. So quite a long time there. And level 105. And that's our sound. Now, interestingly enough, the theremin was um, also uh, produced by Bob Moog in the 1950s. He started making theremin kits but I believe you can still get some Moog theremins today. But here's the sound of Spellbound.
The next sound that we're going to be looking at is from the 1978 film Halloween, which John Carpenter was responsible for. And he chose to, um, to do the piece in a minor key, uh, F sharp minor. I'm actually going to use F minor for this because it fits in with what I intend to do later, but uh, more of that in a bit. Um, and um, John Carpenter used um, an odd time signature which is 5-4, so it goes 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and a bit like this. And now I'm going to show you how I got that sound. And we'll go on to the initial setting, which gives us one oscillator and the first oscillator here we want on a pulse width, pulse waveform and um, this is at an 8 foot pitch pulse width 76, now what 76 does it takes it away from square and makes the pulse uh, more like a rectangle and that's got a particular set of harmonics associated with it and let's have a look at the um, filter. We've got um, a low pass filter at 24 dB per octave, cut off 98. There we are, we'll close that down a little bit. Resonance 0, key track 98. And we just need to adjust the amplifier envelope to produce a percussive effect. Velocity is zero, attack time zero, decay 86. Sustain zero. So that's actually going to decay away like that. Um, and the release time, we need it to be something something around 62 there and we need um, a bit of chorus on there actually um, we're not going to bother with reverb we're just going to put a bit of chorus on and the speed is zero and the depth is 50 so here's uh, I'm just going to fiddle about with the release time to get that just right it's pretty much there And now we're going to be looking at um, The Shining, which um, Walter Carlos did um, on his big modular Moog synth, uh, since became Wendy Carlos, of course, on her big Moog synth. Um, and it's The Shining. So um, th let's hear what that sort of uh, sounds like, first of all. <laughs> Now I'll do a little bit more of that at the end of the sequence once I've shown you how I got that sound. It's a sort of um, a brassy kind of sound, so we're going to be using sawtooth waveforms, but let's go to the initial setting. And we want, there we are, uh, we want oscillator one on a 32 foot sawtooth. And we want oscillator two on an eight foot sawtooth. So there's a combination of pitches there. Uh, all will become evident when we start to filter that. We've also added a little bit of a harmonic. So this is kind of additive synthesis. We're using a sine wave on oscillator three. Uh, and it's also at an eight foot pitch, but we're gonna put that pitch up by seven semitones. Remembering to turn the FM down, so it's just a pure sound. Let's hear what the pure sound wave sounds like there. There we are. And we're going to add a subtle amount of that into the mix. So on oscillator 3, we want a value of 76. Okay, um, and now over to the filter section. So I want a low pass filter, 24 dp octave cut off 51 there we are 
and resonance zero, key track 68, filter amount plus 15, um, attack time 65, and here's that sort of brassy sound coming in. Uh, we want decay 78. Um, sustain is zero, release zero. Um, we're also going to look at the amplifier envelope. Velocity zero, um, attack time 53, so we want to fade into the sound. There we are. Um, sustain 127, a little tiny bit of release just to avoid the clicking in between the, the notes. And we want quite a bit of reverb on there. So reverb time 85 and level 57. So now I'm going to do the whole shining sequence. And now, as an experiment, I'm going to combine all those sounds together. <laughs> 